This is an improved version of my electric motor that I showed you some days ago. I have made three changes. First, the rotor is made of copper, so it is not attracted by the magnet. Second, I have now two coils instead of a single one. And finally, the coils have more turns, 600 turns in each coil. This is the rotor of the motor. It is made of copper, which is non-magnetic, and it will go mounted on the same axis that we used before. In order to facilitate the winding of the coils, I have put two plastic washers at each end of the rotor. You can make the washers from a plastic card like this, and glue them to the axis with epoxy glue or similar. Take magnet wire size 34 AWG or a similar size and solder one end to the rotor. Then take the magnet wire and wind the coil. You can wind in the clockwise direction and when you finish you have to do the same in the other end of the rotor. It is important that both coils are winded in the same direction. This is the finished rotor, 600 turns of magnet wire. The inner wire of the coil is connected to the axis of the rotor and the outer wire is free and is the brush of the motor. The other side is the same. Let's run the motor. I will activate the power supply. We have less than 1 volt and I will give it a little push. The motor is now running with only 0.86 volts. Power consumption is around 15 milliamps.